Hey everybody, what's going on? This is me, Alex, with HD Alex Films, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the late 2013 13-inch MacBook Pro from Apple. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, for my 13-inch, I chose the first model with the Retina display. It has the 2.4 GHz Intel Core i5 with 4 GB of RAM and 9 hours of battery life. So, I mainly chose this one uh, because it was one of the cheapest ends, and I just needed it really for taking notes. It wasn't for anything important, but it does feature an outstanding Retina display just like it does on the 15-inch. And I will include the link in the description for my 15-inch review along with this review. Please make sure to go and love this review because this is I put my best effort into this. And and this MacBook Pro is a very sleek design, still featuring all the compact designs. And if you see how thin that screen is, I absolutely love how thin this is and how you can actually just pick this the screen up without having to completely uh, open and hold down the bottom of the Apple because it has even weight distribution just like in a supercar. I really really do love Apple's MacBook Pros and I definitely think that they're number one flagship laptop every single time they release one multiple times throughout the year. Now since this this since what well, this one is the late 2013 model we don't get really any much changes except an added SSD drive that we didn't see in last year's model but this model really really does do a great job of duplicating the 15 inch just a little smaller and if you notice on the main screen board we don't get our speakers on the side anymore but we do get still the keep uh, illuminating key illuminating sides on the left hand side of this um, a computer we get uh, our MagSafe 2 connector we get two Thunderbolt ports one on the left of one and one on the right we have one USB 3.0 port which is also set at 3 so for super speed you can connect your super speed hard drives and that will do you very well in transferring high data rates at 6 gigabits per second so it will transfer very very fast just like an SSD and then we have your headphone jack as well as two microphone ports for Skype and all that stuff on the other side of this laptop, we have a few different more ports, three other ones. We have one for HDMI, one for the SD card, which we love to have for video editing, and one USB 3.0 port, so making two in total. I really do love because they this one does have USB 3.0 ports. On the back, we are greeted with the hinge, as I mentioned before. I will just open that with one hand, no leading it. And on the bottom, since we do not have the speakers built in, they are built in on the bottom as well with our fans so they do give an extra boost of stabilization on both sides of the laptop on the bottom of the laptop we have the macbook pro text of course assembled in china but made in california i really love that combination we are rocking a set as a 2.4 gigahertz intel core i5 4 gigabytes of 60 megahertz ddr3 ram our startup is Macintosh, and we have the Intel Iris graphics built in this year with that we didn't have last year with the intel core i5 intel core i7 model does have the Intel HD 4600 graphics software running OS X 10.9.3. In our displays, we have, of course, the built-in display, built-in lovely Retina display, 13-inch resolution 2560 by 1600. My 1080p monitor doesn't even have that. That's pretty cool. We have the 128 gigabyte SSD uh, in this flash storage, is what Apple calls, and we have four gigabytes of RAM with two slots in each card and two gigabyte sticks um on the desktop i really really just love the overall look of this laptop as i said i use it for taking notes and doing all of that it does have the 128 gigabyte ssd but as i said before i do do not do any gaming on this laptop since it is not made for gaming it's quite small but it's very very good for you know typing papers wireless printing and doing all those minor tasks um I bought this laptop for $1,300 and it really, really has served me well in the past six months that I've owned it. I have loved it, taking it to class and using it there, making science projects. Its trackpad feels absolutely amazing and I just really, really love this compact, sleek look. I think my personal best, this is Apple's thinnest laptop. If you guys enjoyed this review, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out www.hgalexfilms.com for more reviews, tips and tricks. Please stay tuned in the middle to stay tuned. Subscribe to HD Alex Films. Stay tuned to the latest and greatest tech here on HD Alex Films.